What is up guys, Raybrand Kakis here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we have the release of the brand new Destiny 2 Shadowkeep launch trailer. It unveils brand new gameplay and new information about this upcoming expansion. The exciting thing about this trailer is that it categorizes a bunch of gameplay. It says there's a new dungeon, it shows dungeon gameplay, a new raid, it just shows raid gameplay and previously we've kind of had a mess of Shadowkeep gameplay and we don't necessarily, we didn't necessarily know where it belonged and today we actually do. So that's the key feature here. So we're going to break down this new trailer, well, starting now. Now the first scene is on the moon, but we see the earth in the background and it has an interesting green glow to it. Just wanted to point that out. Next up, we see some of the variety of places you'll be able to go on the moon. And then we have this interesting scene here where it looks like you're descending through some sort of passageway or tower or something. Now, the interesting part, especially if you look at this screenshot here with the kind of red and then everything else is black, this could be a hive structure. But, I mean, especially with the blinking red lights, this looks very war mindy to me. So, will there be some sort of war mind influence in terms of maybe just a haphazard exotic quest? Perhaps there's, um, you know, some sort of Rasputin facility on the moon or something? In any event, it's pretty interesting. Then, we see some of our old foes we're gonna have to face again on the moon. Remember, the storyline is such that some part of the darkness is bringing back some of the enemies we've defeated and we're gonna have to face them again with interesting new mechanics. So, we have the Fanatic from Forsaken, then we have just a big ogre, then it looks like we have Crota, then Gaul, after that we have a bit more of a light-hearted section called Light Up the Moon. If we look at this screen here, we see two of the new sparrows coming uh, to Eververse likely with this expansion. So we have the Jotun Sparrow here, and then we have a Lion's Head Sparrow. Now, of course, some people are going to say, wait, Lion's Head, what gun is that on? Oh, the Galahorn, but the rest of the Sparrow doesn't necessarily fit the Galahorn theme. I don't necessarily think this is a hint that it's coming back, but rather just a cool Sparrow. We also see a pretty sick new flare emote being showed off as well. And right after that, three tanks roll into the field. Now, if this is not just a test environment, this would actually say that this is a, a public event area where you can have up to three tanks because there is the two guardians on the sparrows plus the one shooting the flare plus the three in the tanks. Like, what kind of massive battle is going on here? Next up, we have the section New Quests, Exotics, and Activities. So, we see a guardian walking through parts of the moon. We then see this interesting scene. I believe this is from a part of, I guess, the Dark Below, where you first kind of killed Crota. You tried to deal with Crota, release his soul or something. I'm a little hazy on that, um, but it definitely is Crota related. And we see a little bit of gameplay of that brand new heavy bow in action, and it looks nuts. Like, there's a big group of enemies here, one shot to the knight, instantly kills him, and then for whatever reason, all the other guys blow up as well, so that looks very powerful. Then, as I talked about earlier with labeling gameplay, we have new dungeon, and then of course we have dungeon gameplay, but we've seen these spinning spiky pillars for a while now, we didn't actually know that they were from the dungeon, now we do, and we get a little bit more gameplay of that in action as well. And then we see this big bad boss guy, and that would presume that this is one of the dungeon bosses, so that is pretty darn sweet. Moving on from there, we also have the next section, Season of the Undying. And because we can see that there are Six guardians on the screen at the same time. This is the brand new six player match made activity, Vex Offensive, that is very closely associated with the season of the Undying and the season's pass. Next up, Garden of Salvation Raid. It actually starts out with some brand new gameplay. We've never seen this section before. It looks like kind of a jumping puzzle. After that, we see a little bit of super quick gameplay. Again, this appears to be from the Garden of Salvation. Looking very unlike anywhere in the Black Garden, just saying. That, that, that's pretty crazy. Perhaps you're going to teleport into a, an area of the moon, a certain Vex area. Interesting. But the weapon being used too is also super interesting. 
Dancing. It is a brand new exotic, the new exotic machine gun coming with Shadow Keep. This thing is special because it apparently shoots as slow as a hand cannon and does a ridiculous amount of damage. And judging from this gameplay, that's actually true. Moving on from there, we have new finishers shown off and then armor 2.0. But the cool thing here is that this is actually the OG Trials of the Nine armor being shown with, in the foreground, armor 2.0. So is this a hint at things to come? Well, possibly. But how armor 2.0 works and transmogrification, I think means that any armor you've unlocked at any point, you can change a piece of armor to look like it. So if you did unlock that Trials armor, Bungie is reminding us, hey, you can show that off and at this point it's very exclusive. And then we have a new strike. We see some guardians jumping. This auto rifle shooting right here is pretty interesting. I think this is one of the new raid weapons. It has its own unique aesthetic. And we haven't really seen a lot of other guns like this. In fact, uh, from the PAX, uh, not necessarily leak, but the information that came out of PAX, there was a lot of the raid loot detailed in the collections. And in those collections, a lot of that raid loot had looks, at least according to the weapon icons, like this. We then have some quick crucible gameplay and the highlight here is that the person whips out the brand new exotic special hand cannon that we know is coming with this expansion. In fact, if you buy the expansion, you get the season's pass, you get it instantly. Like rank one, you just can claim this brand new exotic weapon and we have a very crispy two tap happening here. So two shot kill hand cannon in the crucible, that could be dangerous. Next up, we have this screen here showing off some more crazy sparrows. We have a golf emote to end it all, saying the moon is our playground. And guys, that is going to be it for the breakdown. A lot of interesting stuff. Again, labeling. You know, this is dungeon footage. This is rage footage. This is Vex offensive footage is actually pretty useful. And I think we can kind of go back, sift through some of the older gameplay and Vidox and so on and really start to sort which activities gameplay belongs to. In any event, I hope you enjoyed the video, found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.